The Year of the Dragon, Tales from the Chinese Zodiac Written by Oliver Chin and illustrated by Jennifer Wood For nearly 5,000 years, the Chinese culture has organized time and cycles of 12 years. This Eastern calendar is based upon the movement of the moon as compared to the Western calendar which follows the sun's path. The zodiac circle symbolizes how animals, which have unique qualities, represent each year. Therefore, if you are born in a particular year, then you share the personality of that animal. Now people worldwide celebrate this 15-day festival in the early spring and enjoy the start of another Chinese New Year. High amidst the mountain peaks, a pair of dragons lived. In their cave, they gently tended their first egg. Eventually, its shell slowly began to crack. A whisper of smoke emerged and out peeked a baby. The proud parents scooped up their hatchling and named him Dominic. Papa Dragon beamed. Now, Dom, you can roam the earth, sea, and sky. Perching outside, they showed him the world far below. Gliding over hills and streams, the family spotted the Imperial Palace. The kind emperor, empress, and their court greeted them. My, we look alike, said the snake. But Dom was growing fast. Suddenly, his wings popped out. Dom shouted, Wow, I can fly! Whoosh! Lifting off, he waved goodbye and followed his parents into the clouds. Mama reminded him, Remember, dragons are special. No one can soar as swift or swim as deep. Papa puffed. Who blows the winds? Who commands the rain? Who advises the emperor? We do. Indeed, Dom learned that dragons could do things that others could not. This slinky serpent could play ping pong, pick an entire orange tree, and roast marshmallows all by himself. One day, the boy named Bo invited Dom to a swimming party. The neighbors were excited to meet a dragon. Yet everyone's attention soon turned to the noisy scene across the river. Villagers beat drums and paddled long, narrow boats. Together they raced up and downstream. That looks like fun, clucked the rooster. Hey, I see my uncle, said Bo. Tomorrow I'll ask him if we can join them. The next day, Dom met his new friends on the opposite shore. At the docks, Bo's uncle coached a group of people. The boy asked politely, Good morning, uncle. Can you teach us to paddle a boat too? But the crowd laughed, and his uncle frowned. Bo, we are busy practicing for the big race next week, he replied. We don't have time to teach you, so run along and play somewhere else. The monkey suggested, If they don't help us, maybe someone else will. At the pier, they asked fishermen for aid, but got none in return. Ready to leave, they saw the emperor strolling by. The gang spurred Dom onward. Your Highness, we want to paddle, but have no boat, he explained. Could you help us? Dom, the emperor replied, as a favor to your parents, I'll lend you my spare canoe. Overjoyed, they went to the palace where a sleek ship awaited them on the royal lake. Happily, they grabbed their gear. However, paddling was not as easy as they expected. Either Dominic's paddle was too short or he was too long. The last one in, the dragon could not fit his tail. Then the boat began to sway. Everyone lost their balance and tipped over with a splash. The emperor's team laughed as they floated by. We are the champions and train all year, jeered the royal admiral. Now you've sunk the emperor's boat. Ha <laughs> ha! Give up while you still can. Bo and the animals were embarrassed. The rat moaned, what should we do now? Not wanting to let them down, Dom volunteered. I'll ask my parents for advice. They are wise and powerful. But Papa Dragon was not pleased. Dragons drive the winds and waves, he fumed. We don't ride on little boats. Mama added, 
Dear, tell your friends that you have better things to do. Soon, Dom relayed the bad news. I guess I have to quit. Bo sighed. Ah, maybe they're right. We're too different after all. Dom shrugged his shoulders and shrank sadly into the shadows. Gazing wistfully into the river, Dom noticed his reflection. The dragon was surprised that he shared many of his pal's qualities. Suddenly he realized they had more in common than others thought. He remembered what Mama and Papa had told him. A dragon is the ruler of the water. Aha! cried Dom. I know what we can do! Then he eagerly shared his plan. The following morning, the villagers were startled to see the animals cruising by. There are no rules against a dragon boat, sputtered Bo's uncle. But Dom can't move his hands, feet, or wings. At practice, the rat steered and Bo drummed the beat. The rest gradually matched their strokes. Back and forth, they pulled Dom. Whoosh! After a long day, they were tired but eager for tomorrow's race. The festival day had arrived. Colorful banners decorated the village and welcomed teams from distant lands. Visitors crowded the riverbanks and onlookers marveled at this most unusual crew. Among them were two surprise guests. Papa Dragon roared. What does Dom think he's doing? But Mama Dragon greeted Bo's parents and whispered. Wish the boys good luck. They'll need it. The Empress banged the gong. Bong! The big race had begun. Paddles quickly beat the water. The other team sprinted ahead and the animals scrambled to keep pace. Reaching the halfway mark, they trailed in last place. I have an idea! Dom shouted. Hold on tight! He took a deep breath sucked in his sides and made himself straighter than an arrow. The streamlined dragon cut through the water faster than before. Whoosh! Like a fiery rocket, he sped down the river. They passed Bo's uncle and the other teams until only the Imperial boat lay before them. Suddenly, Bo yelled, I see the dragon gate! They had almost caught up, but the finish was quickly approaching. They needed one last push, yet Dom was tiring from carrying them. What could he do? Dom stretched his neck with a mighty roar. Both boats surged across the line. Who was first? The judges huddled to determine the winner. Finally, the emperor announced, The dragon boat has won by a nose. The emperor awarded a great Pearl to the unlikely champions. You were golden, praised Dom's parents. The celebration resounded toward the heavens and happy dragons danced in delight. Afterwards, Dom continued to play with Bo and their pals. Wherever they went, they learned how to be good sports and make their parents proud of them in new ways. From then on, Dom inspired many dragon boat races, and everyone from heaven below agreed that it was a magical year of the dragon.